Okay, here's our first test run of the little Carolina shaker. I filled it up with fuel a few minutes ago to watch and make sure I didn't see any coming out around the seams. I think it's dry, so this is actually the first crank. I set the needle valve to three turns. I primed the, uh, inverted it and primed the piston with some fuel so that it's already in the ball socket and I did the same to the crankshaft. Uh, added an extra washer to the head. I got five in it right now. It's got a lot of compression still. And so um, we're gonna crank it up and see what happens. This is the Glow Plug Boy 24% nitromethane that we're using. Oh, I see smoke. We know it shuts off when I pinch the uh, fuel uh, vents. It didn't shut off really fast, but add a little more. Do a couple of rich runs here. Nothing really should need breaking in. sounded pretty good. I'm going to run it rich one more time and then we're going to turn it loose. I'm going to try pinching off those vents again too because it didn't shut off quite as fast as I think it should have.
next time we're going to cut it loose and see what she'll do. Since I've got the pickup tube at the control line position, then uh, we're not getting the full time out of our run, so I'll test that later. time maybe it's not running as fast as I thought tell me what you think but uh, I gotta get attack one of these days but it sounds like it's running smooth it just won't cut off when I close the vent so got a little air leak somewhere as smooth as it runs I'm not really worried about it besides this uh, uh, open open atmosphere tank anyway as long as it's not leaking at the crankcase we're good I uh, custom fitted all the screws 
so that each one goes in as many threads as I could get. I didn't have a bottom tap like the Mouse Racer article suggested. Um, I ordered one. I hoped it was going to be in the mail yesterday, but it wasn't. So um, I put Loctite in. I think it'll be okay like that. If I can get it to consistently run like that, then we're going to be in good shape. So I'm going to pause now, take a washer out. All right, we're going to try some SIG 35 and see what happens now. I could go to the treble to drop back down to four washers because the high nitro fuel would probably like that, but I'm getting ready to go in the house and sit back and have a drink. So this is my last video, and I found out what might be the problem on that last run. It was running a little bit wonky. Um, the screws were loose, so the fuel was probably foaming. So here we go with SIG Champion. I bet the needle's going to be in a whole nother place. This is going to be a long movie. I hope it's entertaining enough to keep y'all interested. Don't want anybody to go to sleep on me. gives you one and before it runs out well, that sigs about twice as loud and I swear I can hear the wind off the prop so um, I think that runs better might have to try that with four washers next time I get the energy to come back out here meantime I hope you enjoyed my play things and uh, I'll See you next time.